had a big day and a big day feeling really agitated having to deal with Jetstar and you know there was a time I just to deal with that myself but now you know I've, I've sort of found a bit of a guru and I'm trying to actually embark on a more spiritual process because I'm getting older and I'll eventually die and I'll, I'll need to have been a bit spiritual so and I've always thought it'd be good to have a guru you know someone to believe in someone who's like bigger than you like so you know, it's it's nice to not have to rely on your moral compass all the time, like to actually outsource it to another belief system and not have to make decisions to actually go, oh, thank goodness, you know, I don't need to do that. Like, it's actually kind of a relief because all that thinking about things is really exhausting, you know, whether or not they're right or wrong or what you should do. So I like the idea of having a guru. And I couldn't do, like, I was brought up Catholic, so I couldn't do, I couldn't do Jesus. I'm not against Jesus. I think he's got a very nice beard. And I think he's, you know, good sandals. I think he's got a good, you know, New Testament Jesus. It's pretty good. I think, I think whoever wrote Revelations, they should have just got that bit out because that was like I thought, was that person on some sort of ice rampage? Were they a little bit psychotic when they wrote that? Because that's the scary bit of the Bible. You know, Old Testament's a bit weird too. I, I like the modern Jesus, but not that kind of weird. So I couldn't do, I couldn't do that sort of Jesus the Jesus thing. There's too much history I think with the Jesus so I'm not, I can't, I can't do it I can't do it and I don't, I don't like damnations never really appeal to me. Although, you know I, I imagine I'm in for it if I was part of the Jesus but I'm not so, you know, I'm not going to go with Jesus no offence to Jesus and people who like Jesus he seems like a nice bloke but, and I couldn't do Buddha you know, because it seems too predictable for me, because I'm, you know, a little bit alternative and, and I live in Mullumbimbi, and to do Buddha would be like, it, just, it seems a little bit too convenient to follow a guru and a, who, like, it's just really handy, you know, that you can get your statues at a garden centre, you know, while, you, you know, it's kind of, you can do landscaping and spirituality at the same time, <laughs> which just feels a little bit too opportunistic. I know it's handy. I mean, I don't... You know, I think if you can use your guru as a water feature, you've definitely, you've definitely, you know, managed to combine two major, major aspects of your life, interior decorating and, and spirituality. But I don't think that should be. It's a little bit too shallow, I think, to make that the criteria. So even I couldn't do that. So I can't do that. And I couldn't do, like, I can't do, I don't know. I'm not my, I don't think I could do the Hindu thing. And I wouldn't do, like, um... Because I like I like stank a lot, and you know I'm I couldn't do the like the I, I could do like I don't mind my Muslim thing, but I actually spend a lot of time on my hands, so I wouldn't want to cover it. And then I think, what else you can do? You know, there's, there's a lot of religions, that, and you could go more alternative. And there I could go for like I think there's this guy in Queensland that actually is now living in the little country town where I grew up, and his name's AJ, and he actually thinks he's Jesus, and I don't actually know the AJ actually stands for, I think it might stand for like another Jesus. But if I was going to follow Jesus, I wouldn't want to go for the guy, the next one. I'd want the first one. Like I wouldn't go for the one that reckons he's the next Jesus. I'd go for original Jesus. I don't want sloppy seconds on Jesus. I want the Jesus, not the other dude that thinks he's Jesus. So I, I don't think I could follow that guy. So that would be hard. I can't think of anyone else. Oh, there's a local guy. There's a local guy. What's his name? It's funny. It's like so I can never remember his name because it sounds like menopause. I go to call him the flush, but it's not the flush. It's the, the surge, that's right, the surge. I think it's universal something. Universal joint, I was thinking of. But that's a, on a, um, I think that's in the car. But, you know, that's good. Like, if, I think if you're going to follow um, a guru, it's actually quite good to follow someone local because you've got climate change. So you get low guru miles. Like, you should follow a guru who lives near you. Um, you know, and living in Ganelabar is, is very handy. You can get your bus to the Guru. It's not like if you're Sanyasin, you have to go to India. And whilst that was probably attractive and really exotic, um, now it's not really good for the planet to be doing those kind of Guru miles. So, but I don't know. I just, I don't want to get the bus to Ganelabar. It doesn't appeal to me. So I thought, you know, it, it doesn't put me off. You know, I'm still a spiritual person. I don't want people to think I'm not a care. And I was thinking, well, who can I follow? You know, it seems a bit stalky that you've got to follow someone, but you do um, someone greater than you. And that took a while for me to think of someone greater than me. Um, I thought, who do I admire? And if I'm honest, 
the person I most think, you know, is someone who inspires me is my little girl, Ivy. Look, there she is. She's nearly six. She's the nicest person I know. And you know what? She's not just, you know how people are nice, but they're nice, they're fake nice because they're nice to get stuff and they're nice because they know people want them to be nice because they're frightened not to be nice because they won't be liked. Well, she doesn't do that because she doesn't know that. She's actually an, a real nice person. You don't get that much. Because generally little children <laughs> have a bit of a mean streak because they haven't learnt that they have to be nice. But she clearly, she's actually really nice. Like she says really nice things. The other day we were in a cafe and she saw these people working. And, and we asked her, and she asked, she goes, she goes, why are they working so hard? Are they trying to get rich? And I thought it was quite funny. And we went, what would you do if you got rich? And she goes, I'd give all my money to the poor. <laughs> oh, God, that's hysterical. I thought having five kids, I'll be poor soon, so. So that's good to know. She'll be she'll be a good guru. She can look after me. And, and she just says nice things. Like the other day, she was, she was standing on a little box because she talks to the lolly shop ladies. And one of them told me she said she was really worried that she didn't have enough love for all her toys because she likes to give toys even love. That is really lovely. I mean, she is truly kind. And recently, I oh, listen to them talking. They're very cute. But recently, you know, two, I think it was just last year, she came home from school very upset from preschool because one of the, one of the little girls with blonde hair had decided in playing the game at school that the other, only blonde haired girls could play. And she's got blonde hair. And she came home really upset because she said, that's not fair, my little friend that has brown hair, she couldn't play. And I said, well, what did you do? She goes, well, I decided that I wouldn't play the blonde haired girl's game, that I would play with the brown haired girl. And that was, I went, my God, she's already doing civil rights, you know, in preschool. I was so, I think, you know, the Dalai Lama did say, you know, that he thought he was going to be the last one. But I think he's wrong. I think I've got the next Dalai Lama here. I mean, she's, just don't think she takes it after me. I'm not nice at all. She didn't learn it from me. I'm not a nice person in the slightest. She was born nice. It's amazing. And I think that is, for me, is a lesson. She's kind. And she doesn't want anything for it. And she's thoughtful. And, um, and she's caring. Well, that's actually really nice. Anyway, so I've decided to make her my little guru. <sighs> I'm not very good at being nice. I did tell the lady at Jetstar to go fuck herself. Um, so I had to, in front of Ivy, and she just pretends not to hear me because she's so nice. <sighs> I'll never measure up. Go upstairs and hassle some people. <laughs>